Does anyone have a question? Yes, questions. Yeah. You know, people often wonder what the goal of meditation is, why one needs to do this kind of inner work. You know, the answer is not terribly complicated. You know, there are a number of goals along the way to be able to live with our hearts open, with love inside us, to be able to live here with a quiet mind, you know, to be able to master the tensions that exist inside us. You know, to be able to, you know, open that door that leads to a state of spiritual enlightenment. There aren't many answers to that question, but they're all very relevant. Uh, they're all essential to truly learning how to do on this planet, on earth, what we were born here to do. Otherwise, it's, you know, just one day leads into the next day, to the next day. And it's, uh, you know, there's no substance to it. There's no sense of purpose, real purpose beyond making money and you know stuff like that. So the whole idea of this is very simple. You know, you know we need to we need to truly develop a system in ourselves that enables us to live here and be happy people, to enjoy our lives. But not to get all the mesh in the mind and the emotions and all of that stuff that really drains our energy out of us and takes our life away. And then whatever it is we do, it's sacred. It's full of joy. There's love. There's, you know, we recognize the absolute value of what our lives are all about. We're given a life for a reason. And the value of it has to do with how deeply we work in ourselves to open and to be connected with a higher force of energy. So it's all not complicated. We complicate it because we spend a lot of time in our heads, a lot of time in our emotions, and all of those kind of chaotic energies complicate our lives. It blinds us to the real purpose of what life is really about. Does anyone have a question? Stuart, I have a, a, a question. Are you uh... Are you able to live in the now uh, at the moment? I, I mean, are you able to live in the now? And can you maybe tell a, a little bit about this experience? Uh, yeah, you know, look, I mean, on a, you know, you know, I've been doing this a really long time, a really long time, and it's built a system inside me that has uh, allowed me to accomplish place to myself where there really is no future past is dead, there's only one thing, and that's living in this moment. And if day by day I live in this moment, you know, it enables the future, whatever it is, it's going to come and it's going to be the moment. It's not going to be the future, it's going to be the next moment and the next moment and the next moment. Living in the now, living in the present. And I've learned that really it's all we have. The future doesn't exist. The past is dead. What do we have as human beings? We have this moment. We have the now. Now, this isn't, you know, uh, kind of childlike, you know, I want my independence. So, you know, it's absolutely a depth of maturity that allows us to be so present in the moment, you know, that we are building our lives in this moment and our life will become whatever we do in this moment. You understand the future is really now becoming the future. What we do in the present determines the entire way we're going to live in the future. 
So, you know, I've learned this over years of doing inner work, developing a chakra system. It eliminates a lot of fear, a lot of insecurity. It eliminates, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you don't need a position in the world. You are, you are you, you are living in the present of what your life is really all about. Building the present, working in the present. You know, because that will determine everything that we become in the future. And it took years to learn this kind of thing. To just get to a place in myself where Stuart, stop worrying about things. Focus in this moment. Live in this moment. Love the people in your life at this moment. Be completely responsible to the people in your life in this moment. You know, share with them. Learn how to give to them unconditionally and receive unconditionally. Now it takes a really strong inner life to do that because so many people are so worried about what life is gonna become. And they never realize life has already become. I mean, you know, there's none of us that are infants. We have lived most of us a very long time. Life has become and most people are still worried about what the future is going to bring, you know, instead of, okay, I will live completely in the present through my life now and learn how to live unconditionally by loving the people in our lives, our parents, our children, our, you know, our relationships, you know, and recognizing that everything that manifests in our life today is a treasure. Even the things we don't like are a treasure because whatever manifests in our life today is teaching us what we have to do to grow closer to God. This is not easy to do, but it's something certainly we evolve into. You know, you don't do this because you memorize it in a book. You do it because you really evolve into it by doing the work you have to do on yourself. So I don't really know, Paul. I just live, you know. I mean, I, I mean, the last few months have been very hard months for me with COVID. And, you know, I've had problems with my feet, with my this and that, and now I have a my daughter, <laughs> big problem with my daughter I have to deal with. It's all, it's been very one thing after the other. <clears throat> but there isn't one thing that has happened to me in the last month that hasn't been my teacher. That hasn't taught me something that I need to learn about me and my growth and how to sustain that growth every day. It's what these classes are about. It's why I do them, you know. I'm certainly not getting rich doing these classes. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people say, well, you know, what do you charge for that? I said, oh, you know, look, whatever people donate, you know. Oh, what are you crazy? You waste so much time. I said, you know, I'm not interested. I'm interested in spiritual growth. I'm interested in developing my inner life. I'm interested in giving unconditionally to people that want that. That is this moment of my life. And I'm very grateful to be able to have this kind of a moment with all of you. Because I find in doing this, I'm really living in the moment. I'm doing my service to God and to higher energy in the universe and my service to people that truly want 
to learn the things I've learned that can help them have a spiritual life. Does anyone else have a question? You know, a lot of this is based on literally reconditioning yourself and brought up to have certain kinds of habits and to live in certain ways. Our families condition us to live in certain society does. We have to transform all of that into an energy that really enables us to live our lives fully in the moment. And honestly, when you're connected to spirit, God, higher energy, there's no future, there's no past, everything is in the now. Because whatever the future is, it's today, what we do today enables us to be what we are tomorrow. Does anyone else have a question? Very good question. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if there are no more questions, then uh, there'll be a meditation on Thursday. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for making demands on me. Thank you. God bless you all. I'm looking forward to seeing you all Thursday. Thank, Thank you, you too.